internet so today I thought I would film a sticker haul I've been wanting to film this for a little while and I wanted to actually do this this side of the year so that I could show you guys all the stickers I've bought prior to the Good Friday Cyber Monday sales because I don't think I'm gonna be able to film that haul until quite a while later only because I'm based in Australia and a lot of my orders are coming overseas and honestly given the rush and how long it takes it can take I usually get those stickers in January even though I order them at the end of November so expect a big haul coming up soon but I decided to try three new stores as you know I've been trying to branch out my sticker knowledge and trying to try new Etsy stores and all that sort of stuff so I've never tried any of these ones before so you definitely see them in future plan with me videos as I try them out their shipping is actually not bad so I made sure to pick shops that weren't charging me exorbitant rates for shipping so I'd say the shipping ranged from like four to maybe eight to nine dollars or something like that whereas a lot of the big shops like glam planner and school prints unfortunately they have to charge for tracking and all that sort of stuff just because of the volumes that they sell but unfortunately that means that for an australian the shipping can come up to like twenty dollars which i just can't justify that sort of cost i've been on the hunt for american or canadian shops that ship at lower rates I can't guarantee that by the time you see this video that they'll be still shipping at those rates because I have found that some of these shops I really love, like Paper Rose Planning, I think she's based in Canada, she used to charge like 4 or $5 for shipping and now she's bumped it up to registered or shipping with tracking and now it's like $14 and so I love her stickers so much but uh, I don't know, like it feels so painful to pay that much in shipping when your order is about the same size. So. That's just my two cents, and I know that a lot of fellow Australians feel this pain. Anyways, I've been blabbering on for like two minutes now, I'm gonna get into the video. So the first shop I wanna show you guys is the Sticker Genie. You may have heard of some of these already. I feel like they're pretty well known online. Um, so I'm kind of like late to the bandwagon. So I'm just gonna quickly open this up. So I think these are, I think this is a sampler. Very cute. And then we have some note paper which i wanted to use for tracking like when i do my homework and studies because i am taking up some additional courses and studying flat irons i've never seen stickers like this before like for tracking when you flat iron your hair i typically do it like twice a week so quite often and luckily my hair is not too damaged but yeah i thought these were so cute and i love the rainbow and then we get into the kits of course i think i got two so i'm just going to try and separate them there we go all right so this is the first kit I love the little like, oh my god, look at his little banner, that's so cute. Oh, they're adorable. So, um, we've got some icons. Ooh, I like tiny tasks. I always like the different takes people have for this title, like school prints started with little things and then people have odds and ends and tiny tasks. It's really creative, some of the ideas people come up with. And we have some check boxes, Maybe some strips. A lot of strips actually some more activity boxes date covers and i think this is also part of it now that i look at it the color theme the color scheme looks similar and then ombre heart check boxes that is so cute i love the soft feel of this kit and then the next one i've actually bought a kit using this particular pattern before or the artwork i mean that's going to inevitably happen when sticker shops purchase artwork they're going to purchase it from um, the same place could sell to multiple sticker shops so I feel like I've seen this one before but I didn't mind because I did love the pattern and I was curious to know how each kit um, uses the same pattern because I think it can end up looking completely different so I like this be true to who you are and I'm pretty sure the templating is all the same by the way for those of you who are not sure this is actually this is matte paper and I think it's like a medium sort of thickness yeah definitely oh so cute yeah so that's everything i got from the sticker genie i can't wait to try these kits definitely be seeing them pretty soon all right so the next shop i'm going to show you guys oh there's two packs is this one here it is planner face i've seen planner face a lot on instagram and i just never took the plunge and now i cannot wait and i just noticed that she has the reward program going on here and i'm like i'm a sucker for loyalty programs don't even know why I don't do one myself because I am like, I'm just such a, I'm a collector by nature. And so when I see a lolly program, I'm like, gonna get into that. Okay, so I think I ordered two kits, which is why I've got two bags here. So I'm gonna open this up. Okay, so if you fill all these out, you receive a $10 pound voucher. Pound? Oh, I think this order must have come from the UK. It can't have been from America just because 
that's the currency. Okay, cool. So an American, uh, a UK company. All right, and so then you get like one sticker, which I assume is for the order. So if I do four more orders, I'll fill this out and get a coupon. Cool. So I'm going to put that aside. I think this is the sampler that comes with the kit. And then this is one of the Christmas kits and I love this. It's like a very different take. I love the different ideas that people have for Christmas kits and the play on colors. So this is very like, I don't know, like comic book retro sort of thing. You've got some clip art, date covers, sidebar, half box. I will say this paper does feel a little on the thin side, which is kind of good. I am starting to really love sticker paper that is thinner. I'm not a huge fan of the very thick one, but it's really hard to get good quality thin paper because the thinner it is, the ink seeps through and then it just doesn't look very good. I don't know. It's a whole thing. If you guys run a sticker shop, you know what I mean. Then you've got like headers. You've got, oh, I love hydration. Yes. Hydration activity boxes, ombre heart check boxes. These are actually quite hefty, these sticker sheets. They're quite large. And then we have these ones, the bottom strips and some strips. Cool. So that's kind of like a Christmas wintry kit. And then this one seems a lot more summery. I feel like I've seen this kit somewhere before, like this pattern. I don't know whether it's Glam Planner. I might have used it before because I think I have a kit like this. But as I said before, I still would buy it even if it's the same kit because I like to see how people arrange their kits differently. So we've got that. Oh, I love all the clip art. That is so cool. Yes, big fan of that. And I think, except for the hydrations moving up a little, I feel like it's all very similar structure, all her kits. Yeah, very similar. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to move planner face just over here. And the last sticker shop I visited was this one here. It is JP Stickers by Jill. This is Cana Oh wow, I'm all over the shop. So I'm pretty sure Sticker Genie is from America. This one is from the UK and this is from Canada. I feel so exotic and international <laughs> today for some reason. So this is a little sampler and you've got a bunch of glitter headers. And I think I actually only ordered one kit, but it's a pretty hefty kit. So let's go through each sheet. I think this is the, the marble, it's a blushing marble kit. So we've got this, very cute. Then we've got the headers. Then we have ombre heart check boxes, some more check boxes with some functional stickers. We have some strips. We have the activity boxes with some shapes. Then we have some half boxes with side boxes. And this is really interesting. I've never seen this before where it's like MTW instead of T. She does TH to distinguish between this T, even though these two S's are also S's. I don't know. I've never seen that, but that's a really cool take from it. And then we have date covers and the bottom strips. So yeah, I kind of saw this as being almost kind of Christmassy, like very soft Christmassy because of the way it was decorated. But I know it's definitely not aimed at being a Christmas kit. So yeah, I can't wait to try that. I love the color palette. It's very different from the usual, like strong and vibrant. So I'm keen to try this out. So those are the stickers I purchased in the last month or so. As I said, it does take a while for stickers to arrive when I order just because I do, I'm based in Australia. So if you are in Australia and you want to purchase from any of these, just keep that in mind. I would always like, to be on the safe side, I would almost give it like a month and a half just to be safe. But I feel like a month is pretty standard from the time you place the order to when it arrives. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any videos, then be sure to subscribe. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you internet.